is currently 10 past 5 in the morning and we are in a service station in the middle of Bundaberg. We have been on the bus for 12 hours heading down to Noosa. Here is Tom. We're currently heading to Noosa from Airlie Beach. We're 12 hours into a 17 hour journey. Actually, it's been really okay. It's just obviously been a very long night. Uh, we're traveling on Greyhound. We're doing the whole East Coast on Greyhound. And as always, they've been amazing. They have Wi-Fi, they have chargers. It's as comfortable as an overnight bus can be. But right now we're in the services getting some fluids and uh we're only 11 hours in because we've set off an hour late <sighs> we're only 11 hours, hours in hours, unless we've made up time i think we have made up time we don't look too far away but this is uh, this is the longest journey we're going to do it's from early beach down to noosa and i'm so excited to get into this noosa vlog so i'm going to start waffling on i also can't believe it's five in the morning it's so light it looks like the middle of the day i'm excited to get into this noosa bed me too one good thing about overnight buses is you always see a really nice sunrise and also, I've never been to Bundaberg before. Here she is, the Greyhound book in all its glory. This is like a classic red one, guys. We've been on like an orange one, a blue one, five stars. Welcome to Noosa. I am so excited to be here. So is Tom. I can't lie, we're both pretty exhausted right now. We arrived at 11 a.m. and we left early at 5 p.m. last night. So that gives you a bit of scale as to how long it takes to travel this country. And we are still in the same state. Like we're still in Queensland. That is how big this country is. But we have arrived, we're staying at Bounce in Noosa who have really kindly gifted us this hostel stay. And I am gonna say it right now and I've been here for an hour. This is the nicest hostel I've stayed in in my life. Like this might be the nicest hostel in the world. I will give you a little hostel tour because I am genuinely shook to the core that this is a hostel. Like it does not feel like one at all. So this is Tom in his bed. How are you feeling after the overnight bus? Tired. Pretty ropey, yeah, not gonna lie. We're flagging a bit. This is gonna be my bed. What I really love about these, Tom can be the model, is you've got a shelf, two plugs, a USB and a USB-C plug, and your own little light, which I actually just think this is so, so good. Mine is obviously the same, but up here. We're sharing with, I think, two other girls, which are on these bunks here, haven't met them yet. And then we also have this huge, like, dresser section, which is really, really good. Massive mirror, great for getting ready. It's so modern. I'm pretty sure this hostel hasn't even been open for a year so everything is brand new and while the room is incredible This isn't what makes it the best hostel I've ever stayed in it is definitely the communal areas So the toilet the showers and the swimming pool and the kitchen Everything is just like above and beyond what you would expect in a hostel but I thought I'd start with a little room tour Tom and I are probably gonna go freshen up have a bit of a, a recharge aren't we? Tom is not thriving right now no. Doesn't do too well on uh, very little sleep. To be fair, I got a lot more sleep on the bus than Tom. Kind of partially my fault because I took the window seat. But yeah, welcome to the Noosa vlog. I have never been here before. I didn't come here the last time I was in Australia. So this is going to be a first impressions for me as well as for you guys if you've never seen it before. And also for Tom as well. We have freshened up. We're walking down Hastings Street, which is like the main street in Noosa. Um, either side of it is lined with like independent shops, boutiques, eateries, bistros, restaurants, that kind of thing and it's actually really really lovely like it's only a short street but there's a lot going on i'll turn the camera on and you can get a bit of a feel for it basically i mean like this kind of thing little outdoor eateries looks so lovely it's giving like european alfresco dining kind of vibes and then on the other side you've got more clothes shops boutiques australia and then the gift. australia the gift which is uh tom's personal favorite name for any shop another restaurant which just looks very very cute it's five o'clock somewhere. somewhere it's nearly five o'clock here it's definitely a slightly different vibe to early beach because i think that's very backpacker central you can tell a lot of people live here and the people that live here are kind of like bougie it's definitely got an upmarket feel to it it's very nice probably going to be quite expensive but we haven't seen the beach yet and i think the beach is probably one of the things it's most famous for because it's really famous for surfing here like this is the last point up the east coast where you could surf in the sea before it gets too dangerous too shark infested basically we're gonna head and have a little look at the beach i think this is the beach as you can see it's not the best weather today like it is sort of looking a tiny bit british dare i say it but you can tell that on a sunny day this would be stunning it's lined with like palm trees gorgeous little boardwalk this has a lot of potential i just hope that the weather is better while we're here so that we can like see it in the sunshine we are cooking in the hostel tonight here is thomas this is our first time really on the east coast cooking in one of the hostel kitchens we're just doing pasta, but I'm also cooking up some veg. 
Let's not question why I'm frying broccoli. Let's just not talk about it, please. Thanks. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad, guys. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Got my side of long stem broccoli, so getting in the iron. Looking a bit rough again. After our 17 hour bus journey last night, Tom and I are having a night in. Quiet night. We're gonna watch a Christmas film, actually. Today is the 9th of December, and I don't even feel 1% festive. I've not seen any Christmas films. I've barely seen any Christmas trees. Earlier today, I did see Santa driving around Noosa, and he was playing Fairy Tale of New York out the back of his van. But other than that, it's not particularly festive here. So we're gonna watch a Christmas film. We'll probably go fall asleep, to be honest. I'm very tired. Um, but we've got a little bit of admin to do first. We need to book some like onward travel and sort some stuff out. Yeah, it's one of those kind of nights. I trapped myself to a nice breakfast because I wanted something healthy. Look how good this looks. It's muesli and berries. And it wasn't even that expensive. I think in English money, this would be like eight pounds, which for a breakfast like this in a cafe like this, that's not too bad. Not very backpackery of me, but you know, it's okay, it looks good. Good morning guys, it is now Saturday. We are in Noosa. We're actually in Noosa National Park because we are doing the famous hike that is here. If we can do it. Yeah, we seem to have been hit with a bit of bad luck because I think the actual fairy pools, which is what Noosa is kind of famous for, especially on like, Instagram and online. I think they're actually closed right now, which isn't particularly ideal, but we're gonna do the hike through the national park anyway, just to kind of like see the sights. There's loads of really nice viewpoints. Like for example, right now where we're standing, even this is really beautiful. Again, it's not the best weather. Slightly better than yesterday. Like there's sunshine coming through these clouds, but we don't know if this is gonna be a success, but welcome to day two in Nusa. And if we do end up doing it, we will be one of the first people, or probably the first person to vlog it, since it's been repaired. Yeah, since it's they've been added reopened. Barriers or something, and they've done some maintenance work. So if we do get to do it, you'll get to see that firsthand. Yeah, that'll be fun and fresh. This is where we're standing right now, though. This is Noosa Main Beach, and this is Little Cove Beach. So, really, really beautiful, as you can see. So, the walk through the national park takes around about an hour, depending on how quickly or how slowly you walk it. We did it pretty leisurely because we were taking a lot of photos and really just enjoying the views. It was one of my favorite hikes I've probably ever done. You follow the coast the whole way around and guys, it is just stunning. Some really, really gorgeous beaches, really gorgeous scenery. And when you get up to the top, there are the famous fairy pools. You may have seen these before. They're pretty famous in Noosa and for very good reason because they're kind of like these natural forming rock pools where when the tide is low, they like trap the seawater and it's just filled with people going swimming, sunbathing on the rocks. It's a really good vibe. And we actually met a couple whilst we were doing this and ended up being pretty good friends with them and like stayed with them for the rest of the day. So that was really, really lovely and also unexpected, but you can see just how stunning this area of Noosa actually is. Deep in the Hello guys, it has been a little while. We actually met the most lovely couple. They were in that last clip with the drone actually called Sydney and Ewan. I think Sydney is the best name for any traveler that I've met in Australia. What about Darwin Uluru? Actually Darwin Uluru. I don't know how I've met two people named after cities in Australia when there's only six cities in Australia. But anyway, we are back at the hostel. I've just had a shower, washed my hair, I'm waiting for it to dry. And then we're gonna head out have a little bit of a date night I think this evening. It's Saturday night, we're gonna go for some dinner and then I think we're actually maybe gonna re-meet up with Sydney and Ewan who are also going out for drinks in like the town. So basically a lot of the hostels in Noosa aren't in like Noosa town centre so they're a little bit out. So we've all like separately gone back to our hostels and then I think we might re-meet up for some drinks. But whilst I was sitting here I thought I'd show you the hostel because we're literally sat in like a prime spot to be able to see all of it. So let me show you. This is Bounce Noosa. It has this absolutely incredible glass sided pool this is kind of like what it's famous for if you've ever looked at their Instagram which quite likely you probably haven't but if you have this is like definitely a main feature they've got 
tables down here where people are sat having drinks. There's a bar. This is the roof of the bar here. Our room is on this side here. There are also rooms all down the bottom. It's actually quite a small hostel. And then on this side, this is like a lounge area and this is a kitchen. And then here we have Tom at a little workstation. So there's like desks and stuff. And then there's an indoor workstation here, which is really, really cool. And this is very ideal because the Wi-Fi is super, super strong here. Like the download speed and the upload speed is so good. And if you're not somebody that regularly uploads on internet, that probably means nothing to you. But as somebody that lives their life constantly by finding internet with fast upload speed, it means a lot. <laughs> It's a bit of a rogue one, but we've come out for curry for date night and I'm bloody happy. I've got a vegan curry. There's so many vegan options. I'm bloody buzzing. Tom's gone for butter chicken. Bloody buzzing. And then a cheesy naan. Yeah, oh, so, so good. It looks sexy. What's in the trolley? Weetabix, uh, <laughs> milk. Oh, yeah. This is not my finest hour. I'm currently sitting on the floor outside of 7-Eleven. Actually, it's not a 7-Eleven. Noosa convenience store, waiting for an Uber. I, but we had such a fun evening, it was midnight now. It's not even that late, but we, we started quite early. Like we literally got into that club at about what, quarter past nine? Uh, I think it was near a 10 to be fair. Maybe it was near a 10. Also club is a stretch guys. Like it was not a club. It was, oh, no, what a club. It was giving like, year seven rugby club party vibes but it was actually really fun because i feel like if you're with the right company and like you've had a few drinks that doesn't even matter and i honestly had such a good time the couple that we were with sydney and ewan was so so lovely also i met so many viewers like so so many of you guys were in there which is so random we're in literally the most rogue place and like honestly yeah hello you all right happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. it's your birthday crazy happy birthday, bro. thank you have a good night. You Thank too. You. you too. Happy birthday to you as well. Look after yourself, guys. You too. You. Good luck. Goodbye. Yeah, the Uber's two minutes away. I definitely am very ready to go to sleep rather than like actually actively drunk. Instead, it's just made me want to have a nap, which I think might be a sign of getting old. Good morning, guys. It is now Sunday, and today we are heading to the Noosa Everglades. These are one of Noosa's most famous things that you can kind of do as an excursion, and there are only actually two Everglades in the entire world. One of them is here in Noosa in Australia, and the other is in Florida in the States, and that's it. There's only two. I'm not too sure exactly really what they are or why they're famous, but I'm sure that's what I'm going to learn about today, so I will tell you as I find out. But we're currently waiting for the bus to pick us up at this bus stop here, and we're going to head. We are on our way guys, it's very loud here, you probably can't hear me but we have set sail, we're going to the Everglades. So we did this little excursion with Everglades Eco Safari and guys, I really recommend it. We did their cruise and canoe activity and it was the perfect balance of like fun activity where it was just me and Tom and also kind of like a guided tour where we could learn a bit of the history of the Everglades. And guys, I know I sound like a stuck record, but they were so beautiful. It is now called the Great Sandy National Park, which is a shame, but I love the word Kalula. You're also on the vessel MF, MV Kalula. The word Kalula is from our Gubby Gubby mob or the local Aboriginals. It means it's the sound that the wind makes going through the trees, especially their cypress pine. But first off, the word Everglade. The word Everglade is made up of two words, Ever and Glades. Now, Ever just means this water that we're in now, and we're actually in fresh water now, it changes along this strait somewhere. This water is ever flowing as long as we have the Pacific Ocean about a kilometre a kilometre and a half away from us to our right hand side. Guys, we are canoeing down the Everglades. I bravely decided that bringing a phone is a good idea. But, oh my god, this is going to be so stunning. Basically, the Everglades are famous for having like the most crazy reflections ever. So it's almost as clear in the water as it is above the water. Kind of like a mirror. Right now, Tom is doing all of the work. I am about to start vlogging and help him out. But we're, we're about to canoe for five kilometres. So I'm sure you're going to see some more videos and it's going to be beautiful. Stupid people leading the pack, and we don't really know where we're going. Just look at how insane that this view is. Like, I feel like the camera's not really doing it justice because you can't really see the reflection. Like, you can only see the water. You need to kind of be like above it. You look the part in your hat. Tom is the Australian wilderness explorer. I am the passenger princess. This bit is the most insane bit that we've seen yet. It honestly looks flat, like 
like a mirror or like glass or something. Hello guys, it is now a lot later on. I've not updated you because today has been a whole palaver. We've got ready to go out because we're actually meeting Andy, who we met in Sydney on our Welcome to Travel tour. He was actually in the vlog, but he is living here in Noosa now. It's been like a month since we did Welcome to Travel. And then we are gonna come back to the hostel and continue our palaver. So I may tell you about it later, but basically, short story, we're supposed to be going to Fraser Island tomorrow and now we're not too sure if we're gonna be able to go tomorrow. That is an incredibly short version of what has happened, but as you can imagine, it's been chaotic this afternoon. However, it didn't take away from how amazing the Everglades was. My camera just will not focus, good. Maybe I'll just have to hold you this close to my face. Um, the Everglades was amazing. Definitely, definitely a Noosa highlight, wasn't it? So, so good. It's incredible, yeah, really good. Genuinely one of the most beautiful things I think I've probably ever seen. Like, a natural wonder kind of thing. It was just the perfect day for it, the perfect weather. We got so lucky. Hello guys, it is now a few days later. It's actually Thursday. We've basically spent a full week here in Noosa, but the middle three days, so like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, haven't been in this vlog because we actually spent it on Fraser Island or Gari. That is gonna be a separate vlog because obviously that is a whole event in itself. But I did wanna continue the Noosa vlog on afterwards because we do have today here as well. Even though it is gonna be a bit of an admin day, it is gonna be a little bit of like a catch up on the editing, the work. We are actually gonna head into town and we also may head out this evening so I thought, you know, it's a week in my life in Noosa. I want to keep showing you around. We've checked into a new bounce room. It looks exactly the same as the last one, but it's not. Tom and I are in these beds. So comfy, guys. Literally probably had the best night's sleep. Oh, I was just vlogging. Hi. Hi. I saying I probably had one of the best night's sleep that I've had since we got to Australia. But anyway, we're going to head out now. We need to catch a bus ASAP. So I'm going to stop vlogging and I shall see you in town. This breakfast looks so bloody good today. It's actually brunch. It's like 11 o'clock. I'm going to sit here and do some work for the, the morning. Um, but yeah, look at how good this looks. I'm in a place called 10 Hastings Road and I've got the granola. This is like the little waterway at Noosaville. So, you know, we've been staying at Bounds Hostel, which is actually in Noosaville. So Noosa's kind of split up into like three sections. You've got Noosa Heads, which is where we just were. That's kind of like where all the cafes are, where the bars are, where the restaurants are. Then there's Noosa Junction, which is where the other hostels are. And there's like a shopping center there as well. And then there's Noosaville, which is like where we are. And there's like a big Woolworths. And then there's also this kind of like really gorgeous waterway. But other than that, it feels quite residential around here. Like I would say this is definitely somewhere that people live rather than a lot of people like stay. I think, um, I think especially at the moment because it's like the summer now, it's a very popular like family holiday destination so yeah. I think a lot of people maybe come from Brisbane or even further afield to, to come here for like a week with their family because yeah. there's a lot of like lots of families with it being yeah. the Christmas holidays it's so weird because it's their Christmas holidays and their summer holidays yeah. so I think they only get two weeks off or do they get six weeks off? No this is their like long this is like this their, is their six summer week now, holiday so they yeah. get, but I think it's longer than six weeks Some, somebody that's Australian know. tell me how many weeks you get off school I don't know Christmas. if they're more similar to like how America do it they get like ten weeks don't they? I don't think they get that long so I would show you this because this is a really gorgeous really peaceful little area right near the hostel which is so lovely and we walked down here last night and it kind of comes alive in an evening there's lots of like local cafes and restaurants and stuff so cute dogs lots of cute dogs if you wanted to venture out of like oh there's a fluffer if you wanted to venture out of like noosa heads and the main street definitely worth checking it out here Hello guys, we are now sat at Noosa bus station. As you just saw, we watched the sunset over the hostel. It was really, really beautiful. We were actually just sat doing some work. I am gonna solidify my opinion and say that Bounce is the, ni the nicest hostel that we've ever stayed in worldwide. Like, oh, it's not even, it's not even close. Like no, like, no others are close. It doesn't have any competition. Like, I, I would go as far as to say that it's nicer than some hotels I've stayed in. Like, genuinely, without doubt, the best hostel. And the beds are really comfy as well. Great um, night's sleep. It's clean. It's literally brand new. Clean. You yeah. can tell like they care about it yeah for sure anyway that's not why i picked up the camera i picked up the camera today we're waiting at the bus stop because we've just got out for a drink with a girl called caitlin who we met on our welcome to travel tour in sydney the great thing about welcome to travel is you do kind of end up just bumping back into the same group of people across the coast and like then you've got like a little network of friends here in australia and basically that's how we know caitlin and we just finished up having a drink with her so guys we are checking out of our room here at bounds and leaving noosa i have thoroughly 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 enjoyed this place like i would go as far as to 
say that the last week has been my favourite week of the trip so far. I've done my eyebrows and I've forgotten what that looks like and now I'm like, whoa, my eyebrows are so dark. But also the camera does just look quite dark. That's better. But yeah, we're checking out now. We're actually heading from Noosa to Brisbane. So we're going from this kind of small surf town vibe to another big city. That's going to be a very exciting vlog. I don't know if I'm going to vlog Brisbane by itself or combine it maybe with Surfers Paradise. Um, but it's going to be a good couple of days. I want to shout out Bounce massively because this is by a mile the best hostel we've stayed in. As I said, I'm not going to reiterate it. But I will leave it linked down below. And I can't stress enough how, how much you should stay here if you are visiting Noosa. Like, it is absolutely worth upgrading your hostel experience to this kind of just premium hostel experience that nothing has compared to it. And huge, huge thank you to them. It has meant the world. Huge thank you to the team over at the Everglades as well because we loved that experience. I'm gonna stop waffling on. Hopefully the vlog speaks for itself. You definitely just need to visit Noosa. Make sure it's on your East Coast itinerary because last time I missed out and that was a mistake. Out of 10, what would you rate your Noosa experience? In including Fraser Island or? No, just Noosa. Probably like a solid eight. I would go a 10. This I is the best Australian town that we have come across. The, the only reason I wouldn't give it a 10 is because it, it could have had a little bit more nightlife in my opinion. True, but Tommy, um, don't really like going out. Eight. Eight, I'm gonna go nine. We'll go nine. Eight. Nine. Thank you so much for watching guys. I shall see you in my next vlog, which is gonna be coming from the Gold Coast. So I shall see you there.